What is going on? Today I want to show you how to enable this really cool feature on Mac OS X Line and Mountain Line. It basically allows the entire user interface of the operating system to load in a kind of run display esque looking form. Kind of like how the iPhone 4 and 4S runs run display compared to older versions that don't have the high resolution display. It basically allows you to just run all the user interface elements within the operating system in this kind of blown up and cool looking way. Again, there's no real functionality behind having this because everything does look a bit weird and unequalized. But still, it's just really cool and it gives you just an insight into what Apple has planned for um, its Mac in terms of displays. So they, they if they have run a display support within the OS, that means in the future they are planning to roll out render display Macs. So with that said, um, the first step is that you need to have Xcode installed. If you don't already have it installed, you simply go to the Mac App Store, right? You click it and wait for it to load. Again, wait for it to load. Once it has loaded, you simply type in Xcode in the search bar. So, Xcode. And Xcode is free, in case you were wondering. The only downside in installing it is the fact that it's one gigabyte in size, one and a half gigabytes, and that isn't all that good, really. It does take a while to download if you have a slow internet connection, so once you are done installing it, you simply click free, whatever, install app. Once you are done, um, you navigate to your finder. I already have it installed, in case you were wondering. Go to devices, and you go to your Macintosh, hard drive and you'll have this new folder called developer within developer you have an applications folder within the applications folder you'll have a graphics tools and then inside the graphics tools you have to go down to the quartz debug and that's the application you're going to need right now so you open it up and you'll have this weird looking menu thing and you're going to have to ignore everything it says there because if you're not a developer you shouldn't be messing around with that you have to go over to the navigation bar where my mouse is clicking, go to Window, and click on UI Resolution. Once you have that, you'll get this really pretty normal looking uh, window, and it'll have a little checkbox for enable high DPI modes. High DPI is the random display mode I was talking about. Most of the time, you won't have it checked, so I'll pretend I don't have it checked. You'll have it like this. You simply click on the little box, you'll get this thing on. Um, and this pretty much tells you if you are going to have to log out for the effects to take change or whatever. And uh, yeah, you'll log out. I won't since I already have it enabled. So I simply could continue. And then once you have it checked, you close this and quit the application. You'll have to log out. I don't. So once you do log back in, you go to System Preferences. Click the app. And then you navigate to the display section under hardware. And once they're uh, under resolutions, you have a bunch of different new additions that have high DPI in parentheses, right? So let me enable it to give you an idea of how this looks like. So you click OK, whatever. This is a really cool looking thing now. If you notice, everything is, again, as I said, blown up. but Compared to these icons over here that aren't rendered right display configured, you can tell there's a great amount of difference. You can tell that things are pixelated. So let me see if I can show you it in more detail. For example, let me drop drag in this. Probably is not configured. See, compared to the QuickTime icon. There's a bit of a difference. I'll take that off. And um, everything looks awesome pretty much. It looks incredible. And um, let me zoom in for you guys. You can tell if you zoom in, there isn't much of a pixelation compared to zooming in the normal resolution. And again, as I said, there's no functionality behind this. There's nothing you can do that you didn't, you weren't able to do before. The only difference is that it looks awesome and um, Things look blown up. Not really that equalized, but you can give an idea. You get an idea of how it would render it on a smaller resolution, or larger resolution, sorry, on a render display Mac, and it would look awesome with no pixelation. 
And the fact that Apple has this support in the macOS 10 means that they are planning on releasing Red as like compatible Macs in the future. So everything looks awesome. Pretty much, let me give you a, a, a little test on Safari. So let's boot up Safari. Let's make it full screen. Again, it doesn't run as fast as it would normally because of this, but there it looks very iPad-esque looking. And again, similar to the iPad 3, when you're in Safari, you do notice that some text looks a lot sharper than the images, mainly because the images aren't meant to be viewed on a such a high resolution display. You get the same thing going on uh, within this. So let's load up this article, give you more of an idea. You can tell that there is pixelation within the picture compared to the text, which is extremely sharp. See? And uh, that's the problem with the application and the developer of, uh, I mean, of, of the website, and they'd have to change that once Red Display uh, Max are available. So, since this is pretty much given, if you're a developer, um, you can use this high DPI version of the UI to test out your websites and how they would look like in Red Display Mac and get them ready for when Apple does in fact release Red and Display Max. So this looks really cool and um, again I'm gonna give you one more time that little comparison with the zooming in. There you go. Let me exit out of the high DPI mode and go back to this to change it. Now let me zoom in. As you can tell everything does look a lot more pixelated. So that's pretty much all you can really get done. It is a really cool little small little feature but um, it doesn't it's not, I mean it doesn't it's not that that big of a thing. It's pretty easy to enable. Once you do enable it, you can kind of get an idea on how Retina displays would work on a Mac. It's really cool, as I said. So, try it out yourself. Leave any, your comments. I won't really answer them since I don't have time and I don't really care. But you can ask questions. Hopefully other people will answer them. I won't. And um, subscribe because I have many new videos coming your way that tell you stuff and inform you and make you awesome and gives you intelligence. Yeah, whatever. Just subscribe. Goodbye.